I am not here to satisfy you. I am not here so you like, oh, oh, Grant, I like him. I don't care if you like me or not, man. I want to move a handful of people in the room to go from 400 grand a year to start thinking about how do I make 4 million? My goal is to meet as many people on this planet as possible, people that are positive, people that have more time to create than to be critical, more time to hustle than they have to hate, and they want to actually add strategy and techniques that are proven to grow their business so that they can take care of their family and their church. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Hey, th th thank you very much for having me. Uh, I live here in Miami. Anybody here live here? No? You guys are all out of Well, welcome. So what, what I want to talk to you about today is having the life. And um, the economy collapsed. When Lehman collapsed, the life that I thought I had was put at risk. So you're, you're in this room because you're a top producer. And I'm, I'm going to tell you that the, 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 one of the things that, to me, is the most difficult thing in my entire career is becoming a top producer. Because the moment you become a top producer, you become susceptible to thinking you have the life. Uh, I grew up in a little town in Louisiana, a little small town, about 60,000 people. Uh, you probably hear the accent. And uh, I, I grew up in a middle class, a middle class family. My, my, my dad died when I was 10 years old. My mother raised us. And my mother constantly told me how proud I should be of myself. How many of you got a mother like that? You should be so proud of yourself, okay? Uh, every, every time, my mom was my best friend, and every time I would have a success, it didn't matter whether I was 18 years old or 48 years old. Anytime I had a success, she was the first person I called. I wouldn't call my girlfriend, wouldn't call my wife, wouldn't call any of the, the people that were closest to me. I'd call my mom and say, Mom, you'd never believe I just bought a real estate deal. I started this company. I bought my first real estate deal. It's 38 units. It's $4 million. And she'd be like, that's awesome. I love you just the way you are. And I'm like, okay, okay, thanks. She told me that a thousand times. How many of you had a parent tell you, I love you? That's great. That's great you made 160 grand last year. But I love you just the way you are. How many hear that? Okay, that's right out of the 10X rule. I don't know if you know that. That's right out of the four actions. Anybody know what action it is? Average. Average. I'm doing well. Okay? There's four levels of action. Number one is I do nothing. If I rewrote this book, I would take that out. That's actually impossible. To do nothing at all is impossible. Try doing it right now. <laughs> to do nothing means you had to make a decision to do something and not do it. This is actually not true. I wouldn't put it in the book if I rewrote it. The second level of action is um, to retreat. This is what most people do, by the way. How many had a commitment to work out today and didn't? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yo, yo, shit, I, I was up late. Whatever. You came up with it. Whatever reason, I'm going to make the call. By the way, any retreat in life, any single retreat is a discipline and a commitment to retreat when it matters. So, so every time you make a decision, you just need to be aware that what are you doing here? OK, there's only four things you can do in any given day, right? You could do nothing. You could retreat or you could do this average. Now, I know you guys are being told that you're the top. You're the top. You're the best. You made it to Miami. But I'm just going to tell you right now, ain't, ain't not a person in this room is above number three. Now, I'm not there. Okay? And I know how much I'm grinding every day, how much I'm pushing every day, how, 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 many, how many hours I put into a day. What's the maximum number of hours you can do in a day? Not if you add people. You added people, you got to think beyond the 24th thing. Once you guys get committed, once you get committed, then you will come up with solutions outside the physical universe. Okay, you're, you're already doing that. Your space is, your space is bizarre, okay? Here, here there's a bunch of people in the room that, that, like, I don't know anything about technology. I'm 61 years old. I was born in 1958. I, I am supposed to be outside of that moment of technology. Yet I'm probably one of the top five social media people in the world today. Banging on Instagram and Snapchat and LinkedIn and Google Plus that will go away. Using all these mechanisms to try to get attention so that I can operate at this level 10x thing, this massive level that is always changing, by the way. You can't. 
10x something. People are like, man, I'd write the book. If I wrote the book, I'd write it 11x. I'm like, that's because you don't understand 10x, dude. 10x is a multiplier. It's 10x, which is 100. Okay? So what, what I do, what I did in, it, when Lehman collapsed, I wrote the 10x rule. And I wrote the book because I realized I had done something wrong. That book was written for me. And the reason, when I closed the book, the reason I was like, eh, whatever, I had figured out what I had done wrong, okay? I had to embrace the, 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 the idea that three or four million dollars in a bank and a house paid for and two cars and a marriage, and I got it better than everybody else. And my mama loves me just the way I am, was all this, this middle class, this American, particularly here in America. How many of you live in America? Okay, in America, the middle class, it is the sleeping chamber on planet Earth. Okay, people come here. People come here. They come from India and China. Come to here to get a middle class. Dude, I don't want anything to do with this. Okay, you're middle class. You will not change the world. You might change your house. You might change the education your little kids get. Okay, they get to go to Texas A&M. Big deal, right? He, he told me that he went to Texas. I said, oh, that had to screw you up bad, just going to a college. Why? Because what do they manufacture at college? They, ma they manufacture average people at college. So, so I want to challenge you today, okay? I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you today to start thinking, hey, wait a minute. Am I even a top producer? How did that get created for this room? What number did you have to hit to get in this room? What's the number, a million? Who made that number up? Was that Bob? I'm Bob. Bob's sitting around. What can we do? What can we do? Okay. Huh? Did he make the number one million up? Why wasn't it one million, one hundred thousand, one ten, one one one? Instead, because he got lazy. One million is a lazy number. How many of you would agree with that? It's a lazy number. Do anything that ends in a zero is lazy. Come on. How about some creativity? Right. How about a little creativity when you're when you're making decisions in your life. Like, what's a good income level for this room? Let's say we don't share this anywhere outside this room. What would be, what would be a real number? You guys are going to hire me. What's a real number that I can make in this room? Y'all can talk to me. <laughs> now, damn, I, I will not hurt you, okay? What's a number? 400,000. 400 grand. Okay, now why did we come up with that number? Because I don't know how you guys could even live on that number. If, if I made 400 grand a year, I would be embarrassed with myself as a husband, a father, basically as a human being. 400 grand. How do you make sense of $35,000 a month? You guys haven't done the math. You have not done the math because you cannot live on 400 grand a year. And if you think you can live on 400 grand a year, I might have to go back and add number one. Nothing. Anybody can make 400 grand a year. All you got to do is show up. Okay. Now, I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. You guys don't need to agree with me. I've already been paid my fee. Okay? I am not here to satisfy you. I am not here so you like, oh, oh, Grant, I like him. I don't care if you like me or not, man. I want to move a handful of people in the room to go from 400 grand a year to start thinking about how do I make 4 million? Big boy right over here popping out. What did you, what'd you make last year? <laughs> what'd you gross last year? 2.7. How does anybody live on $2.7 million a year? <laughs> You need to make it impossible, dude. I cannot, I can't, my, my plane eats $2.7 million a year. This dude needs to think different. He's running out of time, man. You guys all in the room, man, you're running out of time. You're in a space that is so frothy with opportunity, it's unbelievable. You're making sense of less than you can get. This is my mama. My mama saying, I love you, boy, just the way you are. Mama, I made $10 million on one deal. That's great. But, son, I love you just the way you are. I'm like, shit, I don't love me just the way I am. Because I'm doing deals where I know I could make 100. Okay, how many of you in the room are operating below your potential? 
Let me see your hand. If you know you're operating below your potential, man, please tell me you're operating. How, how many of you, let me see your hand again, if you're operating below your potential, okay? Your finances should indicate that. Your finances are a way to tell the truth about who you are, your space. Like if you're an Uber driver and you're making 2.7 million a year, pat on the back. You're in this space making 2.7 million a year? Come on, man. Your company's doing what, 2 billion? 2 billion dollars, and you guys aren't getting it all? Would you say that you're not getting it all? We are a lot of room. Yeah. A lot of room. He's telling me he's in the first innings of, of his game. So, so I'm like, hey, what, what do I need to do? Let's say 400 is the number, then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to 10x that, and I'm going to build a business plan for $4 million. And I'm going to quit thinking, I'm going to quit thinking that I, I, that I got to do a four-minute mile. I'm going to quit thinking about the physical universe. What can I do to produce $4 million worth of income? Is it here? Is it outside of here? Is it here and outside of here? How many customers would I need? This is what, this is what my goal for you today is to leave here and say, dude, I ain't satisfied. Okay? I want to raise the numbers on this room. So the next time there's 75 people here and everybody adds a zero to your income. Oh, by the way, if you love yourself at 400 grand, mama, if you love your son just the way he is at 400, would you love me a little more if I add a zero? No, she couldn't love me anymore. It wasn't up to her to love me. It was up to me to love what I'm doing every day, right? You guys are showing up, you're working your ass off every day, right or wrong. How many of you are making calls every day? You're like, I do not want to make this call and you make it anyway. Good, then get paid for it. Get paid some real money for it, man. Okay? Get paid some real money. Just add a zero. How many calls would I have to make? Is this even possible? He's doing part of it. He told me I'm not, he's not tapped into all of it. He's hitting 70% of that number. If everybody walked out of here and said, hey, I'm going to build a $4 million plan. I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell you a, little, a little game I play. I got 14 little companies. I run 14 little companies while I'm doing deals, while I'm speaking to you today, right? I'm still running them in my head right now. I got them all open. I got browsers open all over the place. Counselor said, you got ADD. I said, I ain't got ADD. I don't know how to add. I multiply. <laughs> I'm done adding. I'm done adding a customer. I want to multiply customers. I, wanna, I don't want to add orders. I want to multiply my orders, okay? I consider myself a decent salesperson. But it doesn't matter if you're a great salesperson. If you don't add business to the sale, if you don't become a business person, you can't build out zeros. Because you're going to hit a place where they can't pay you anymore, right or wrong. You got to start thinking about being a business inside the business. How do I add zeros? How do I grow the top line of my business, okay? So today I'm thinking, I'm thinking, man, I'm gonna build a, mo I'm gonna build a $10 billion business. I just go in and do it backwards. I'm gonna build a $10 billion business. I'm gonna take the 14 little things that I have, probably get down to three or four of them. How do I build 10 billion? I know the money's on the planet. Say yay if you agree there's $10 billion on planet Earth. Dude, you could, you could suck $10 billion off planet Earth today and you wouldn't, they wouldn't even give you, like you wouldn't even make the paper. I just got to think different, and I can't compare it to my upbringing. How many people from China here? You see a hand if you do. You compare you compare what the average person makes there. You you will make sense of anything. Would you agree? If I'm coming from India, I could make sense of fifty grand a year. Fifty grand a year, dude. I'm doing great compared to what other people in India, right? My mom, she used to she she would give me food. She would when she feed me, she was programming me. How many of you are programmed by your parents? Eat it all. How many got this message when you got food, food and pro eat it all? I'm like, I'm full. Eat it all. There's people starving on this planet. I'm not one of them. I'm full. Eat it. Okay? And if you didn't eat it, you had to put it in the refrigerator. Right or wrong? How many of you got food in your refrigerator right now? You're in Miami and back home. You're still saving last Tuesday's meal. Because you think small. Okay? Open up your freezer when you go home. I'll tell you if you're middle class. Open up your freezer. There's some ice cream in your freezer, some Ben and Jerry's. They got this much left in it. They got more frost than they got ice cream. And you're saving it, man. You're saving it. You got all these little Ziploc containers. You're saving stuff. Why? You're saving stuff because you're worried about not creating stuff. 
right? I just want to create a bigger top line. So, so what, what I do right here is this, okay? Anytime I'm short on, on creativity, I know that I need to look at creativity as the solution to that $10 billion. Would you agree? If I'm short on creativity, if the $10 billion exists, if $4 million of income exists, okay, if you guys think, hey, I could do 400 grand or I could do a million or I could do 4 million, if that money exists, if that's a reality, then what I need to look at is not the creativity, I need to look at the commitment because creativity follows commitment. Where you lack creativity, handling an objection, following somebody up, grabbing business from somebody else, stealing something, a deal that's done, undermining that deal and taking that deal, it, you lack creativity, right? And the moment, the moment I don't think big enough on my income, I will lack creativity where all the solutions, I'm sorry, I lack commitment, which will produce the creativity necessary to get those extra deals. The money exists. The potential is there. The opportunity is there. Your space is enormous. What, what I have to do, whether I'm going into a new sales job, making a sales call myself, or whether I'm trying to start a new, a new business or a new division, is I have to start with the top line of the business, okay? As a salesperson, salespeople sometimes don't think in terms of top lines. They think in terms of their sales. I would tell you to create a department, okay? And your department would be a new business for yourself. And going into 2019 and 2020, you would say, hey, what could I do between March? Are we still in March? Or April? We in April? We're in April, okay? So April to April, the next 12 months, not the last eight months, April to April, how would I build a $4 million business? How could I do that? How many customers would I need? How many phone calls would I have to make? How many letters out? How many contacts? How many visits? If the $4 million is real, okay, is the $4 million real? Is it real? No, I can't hear you. Is it real? Yes. God damn, y'all don't need to wait till you drink to, to, to get excited. You better get excited now, because if you're not going to get excited now, nobody will give you this money. Nobody will give you this money. Money follows attention. How much attention can I get in the marketplace is where money goes. Money does not go to the best product. Ever. Money does not go to the best product. Money does not go to the happiest place either. Money goes to where attention goes. Whoever gets the most attention gets the most money. Action, massive action, has always worked. It's proven itself for thousands of years. This is not a new concept. You show me somebody, and we know their name, anybody, anybody in the, in, in the room, any famous person that you can think of. Anybody that we would both know. You say, I'm going to mention their name, and Grant will know who that is. Give me a name of one person. Massive action. Persistent massive action. Okay? Okay, how many people were watching the, the Open yesterday? Yeah, exactly. Why? Because Tiger was in it. Attention. Money follows attention. Money follows attention. How much attention can you get? Even bad attention. Okay? I'm going to tell you something. What Tiger went through in the last decade helped him. You got more white people pulling for Tiger Woods, right? They're like, Tiger, grown white men, Tiger. And we say there's division in this country. Tiger, I love Tiger, right? Why? Because they love a comeback, man. The guy got a lot of attention. Okay, who else? Give me another name. Oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be this kind of meeting. If I didn't know it was going to be this kind of meeting, I'd charge you double. Donald Trump, everybody knows him, okay? Money follows attention. Success and power follow attention. Okay, you can not like the guy, but could you handle that much heat every day? Could you handle that many people not liking you every day? Because if you're going to be a leader, if you're going to be a real leader, okay, if you're going to be at the top of the food chain kind of leader, People aren't going to like you. Thank you so much for having me today, Bob. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay? Appreciate you guys. Thank you.